employer reviews are phenomenal tools, but they are actually poorly used by almost everybody. So two don'ts, two things to avoid completely in, in employer reviews. Number one is finger pointing. If you are pointing your finger at your employee saying, you have done this thing that I don't like, that's not a review. You're yelling at them. And so that's very different, right? And so a review needs to be kind because people don't really respond to finger wagging. The other thing that comes up in employee reviews that you really need to avoid is lack of relevance. So many of the things that people bring out as either positives or negatives about an employee performance aren't really relevant to to what they do. So here's a great example. Once I was told when I worked for somebody else that a negative part of my review was the fact that my cubicle was messy and it didn't present the image that this company wanted. And so I said, if you don't want my desk to be messy, give me a drawer where I can shove my shit in. And the reason why my desk is messy is because I'm not thinking about the way my cubicle looks. I'm thinking about what I have to get done. And so talking to me about my cubicle isn't relevant at all to my performance. And so if this is a performance review, it's not a better homes and cubicles. I got fired from that job.